welcome back to the show. Well, to say our next guest is busy would be a giant understatement. Yeah, it's actually pretty impressive that uh, he's still standing and all in one piece. Brian Bowmer joining us. Uh, and if I'm counting right, I think it's four, maybe five shows. That five, are... This year it's five. Five shows. Five shows. It's, next year it's going to be HBTV. Dude, maybe, plan, maybe right? leave a little something for the other people no, out there. Oh, I know. You know, you know what it is? It, I built that great house two years ago. Yeah. So now every, time, every time I'm home, like, you know, once every couple of months for an hour or two, I walk in, I go, wow, this place is great. So I haven't, I haven't had the chance yet to be in there long enough to think. Have you counted I, I how many something. nights you've actually had a chance to sleep at home? Uh, you know, I made super elite before March break. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, I, I, I get to the airport now, and, you know, everyone's like, welcome Mr. home. Mr. Bowler, nice home. to see you now, again. you're in Vancouver for the Home and Design Show. What are you going to be doing over the weekend? I am, uh, well, this week, just enjoying Vancouver. I mean, every time I land here, I open the door. I don't open the door, but, the, you know, the... The plain people. The plain people open the door. <laughs> uh, I, I, it didn't go well once when I opened the door. <laughs> but, but I just feel like I'm home. So I'm going to see some friends, enjoy. I'm at the home show tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, nice. uh, Sunday at 1 as well. I, I know we've asked this before, but, uh, I mean, ever any temptation when you look at the Gulf Islands and all the opportunities to build really cool places here and, and sort of get into the... the... wheels have been turning. Yeah, I could imagine that this would attract you. Because when I look at, uh, I mean, not only your house... Uh, uh, that you did with House of Brian, but the new one that you're doing on the rocks, and I think about the BC coast and you know even the lakes we have here. I so wish I could show you some pictures. Uh, that House of Brian on the rocks, and it, we it literally is on a giant. Rock. I think we yeah. do. We it's have not, a JPEG here. This is your cabin, we? right? This is your cabin, right, right. and I'm putting quotes around this. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's turned into a bit of a monster, and it uh, it's this has probably been the most difficult build I've ever done. It's, How come? Uh, because it's inaccessible except by water. Uh, it's on the giant Canadian shield. Uh, there's bears and rattlesnakes and mud and 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 I mean it, it's just it's insane. You didn't insanity. make it easy on yourself, did you? No, and it, it's all flat roof, which is it's a heavy snow load up there. It's all green living roof. Uh, wow. Some it, it's it's 13 foot ceilings and all glass. It just evolved and. Now grew we have a green living roof here in our convention center. What are, what are your thoughts on that whole thing after having a, a personal experience with one? You know what the convention center here, I have to say, was part of the inspiration for House of Brian too. I looked at that. I love some of the wood detail in there, the green roof. Uh, the big thing with the green roof is that it extends the life of your roofing system double or triple because the sun's rays don't hit it. Uh, uh -huh. It absorbs a lot of the moisture, so you don't get the runoff. Uh, obviously, it produces oxygen, cleans the air, all these kind of benefits. It, it's also an insulator, so it keeps you warmer in the winter, it keeps the heat off there in the summer, so you don't get that baking hot. But I'm thinking of the engineering in Ontario, where, I, I mean, especially where your place is, you're going to get a couple of feet of snow sort of on the roof all the time. How do you, how do you deal with that with a green roof? Well, if, what, 24 inch uh, LVLs, 32 feet long, <laughs> and five, five ply beams in the roof. And mind you, so we're, now we're in the middle of nowhere. Well, this is an inaccessible site, and you have to get these big bloody beams in there for your roof. It's it's been a lot of fun. I, I, I think I've, I, I ate an entire box of Robaxa set this morning. Uh, you know, it, uh, 1130 at night, uh, two nights ago, I was still up tiling. I mean, it's just been an amazing project and something so outside the scope. And up there, if you forget something or need something. Yeah, what are you going to do? You lose a day. It's a boat ride and a truck ride. And, yeah. I mean, do you have it's, to it's turn into MacGyver day. sometimes and just figure out how to do something? No, you have to. You have to turn into like a scheduling specialist because if you can't do that, you got to wait for what you need right. and, and figure out something else to do. And there's always lots to do. We're, you become an Excel spreadsheet. Yes, guy. yes. We're, of... we're a little behind schedule. It's gonna, <laughs> it's, it's gonna be an interesting show. Okay, that is only one of the shows. Uh, leave it to Brian. Uh, leave it is to Brian. Show number two. And is this carrying on the the sort of idea? Of... It's on the DIY thing. I mean, everybody has somewhere to live, and the things we want versus the things we need are not always on the same page. And the whole idea spawned from. You know, I had, I had guys calling and say, I need to put a theater in my basement like your house. We need the screen. And we get there to look at the house, and the shingles are falling off, and the siding's wrong. And he's thinking about so the theater? They want to put a man wrong. cave in to <laughs> exactly. a falling down house. So we kind of go in now, and we say, okay, look, trust me, leave it to me. You know, give us your budget. Go away for a couple of days. And they come back, and, and, and they're often You have to start shocked. doing shows out here. I, uh, I'm, I'm, look, I'm looking at You that. have to. This I is do. the unfair part of, of what help. happens sometimes is you have all these shows that are based in Ontario and people are getting the benefit of it. Well, oh, here, here's what I said to Sarah. I, I said, you know, I, I have to actually work for a couple of years. I can't, I can't just build my own houses every year. <laughs> right, I, I just, gotta... Financially, it's, it's unfeasible. <laughs> uh, so I got to work for a couple of years and, and we do have some plans. Uh, we're, we're, our, our eyes are looking west a little bit. So. Boy. He's got a grin, so there's something going on. Yeah, okay, yeah, and absolutely. we had Jillian Harris on our show yesterday. She said she had had a blast shooting Canada's uh, Handyman Challenge with you and the fellas. How was the experience Scott, for Mike you? You know, it, it was great. Uh, handsome devils. 
Look at that. <laughs> it was, uh, you know what, it was great. We had a lot of fun in Vancouver, met a ton of people uh, here that came down with amazing projects, cut those down to 12, cut them down to four, took those four to Hamilton with another group from Halifax and Toronto. Uh, you know, when they battled it out, that, that will air uh, in the new year, and you'll see, uh, I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. Well, and I love the show because there's always been sort of a, a derogatory aspect of the term handyman. Like, yes. he's good, but he's not quite good enough to do the trades. But, but what people realize from the show is that these guys have just made a decision in their life to have some flexibility in what they're building and how they're doing it. Exactly. And they're really talented. You know, and here was one of the things in the show. You know, they brought down these, these pieces, and, and Vancouver blew us away. We saw 50 people come in, and they put down these pieces of art that they made out of, out of plywood. And, and I mean... Plywood so, art. Plywood art. I mean, <laughs> laminated stuff and, and, and veneered and you name it. And some of the best pieces I was most disappointed with as they move forward. It right. was really? shocking. Some of the, you know... They don't have the practicality, the building experience. Well, to be you able start to... to wonder, how long did this take you? How <laughs> many, you know, uh, who did this for you? Uh, things like that. Oh, your parents help you with your homework? Yeah, exactly. It, it was interesting. Now tell us about HGTV. HGTV is uh, is a series in the U.S. and it's for people that uh, you know they want to be HGTV'd. Right. Uh, HGTV is a is a verb now. Uh, so I actually flew down to Park City, Utah, uh, with Tanika Ray, and I, I brought Sarah down, my wife, and, and we actually rode down the bobsled track in Park City, Utah. Oh my God! How was that? Miles. You know what? The first corner, I thought. It's not so bad. It. The second corner, I you know, yeah. I was like, oh. Yeah. As your chin becomes your forehead, <laughs> and you the start third to corner, wonder. I was just think. screaming the entire time, un completely unusable footage. The best part was, Sarah jumped in with Tanika. Said, ah, Sarah, jump in, and she was sitting in between us. And we had the we had the cameras all over the cart, and she decided to wear a halter top that day. Oh, awesome! <laughs> well, there's like seven G's on these corners. She probably wasn't wearing a halter top by the end, was you she? You can't move your hands. You're just you're locked in. We get the bottom, and she says, "My my top came down after the second corner." And uh, so, of course, everybody's checking the footage. And yeah. it was just, it well, was we just gotta right make here. sure. It, it just was, to check. Yeah, it, just to check. So just you'll so be on a future episode of HGTV. HGTV, uh, Park City, Utah, that will air uh, air shortly as well. It, it has been the busiest no year kidding. of my life. Not only that, Deck Wars, we're gonna have a, uh, a Team Brian versus Team Paul. Oh, I uh, love challenge it. Challenge this fall. And wow. this is, I mean, talk about shows that, that break your idea of what's possible. I mean, exactly. when you think of a deck, I think of basically a square or a rectangle and it's shooting off and it's got a use. Barbecue. And a barbecue. Yeah. It's all yeah. rotten and moss is <laughs> yeah, yeah. going on. But yeah. you guys, the stuff that you do, the way you use material and just, ah, oh, it's crazy. Just to do some, some crazy things. And, and Paul's an amazing designer, so to team yeah. up with him, and even with, with Canada's handyman, uh, you know, to get to work with Mike and Scott and different HD hosts, it, it's been a lot of fun this year. Uh, it's been the busiest year ever. Uh, next year, we're planning to take a few months off and just kind of relax and, and enjoy. But uh, Go west, my friend. Well, it's Go the plan. west. Well, the plan. Brian, thank you so much. It was really nice to see you. And of course, you can just basically turn on HGTV. <laughs> and chances <laughs> right. are you'll there. see Brian. You can go to his website to find out all the information about all of his projects. And as we mentioned, he's here in Vancouver for the Home and Design Show. Uh, you can go to the website for that to find out all the scheduling times. Very nice, man. Great to see you, as always. Great to see you guys. Do you have anything you need fixed? Uh, uh, don't yes. ask that question. Yes. <laughs> Come that to is my dangerous. House. Yes, lots. Uh, we're going to take a break.